We'll now continue the uh, principles of scheduling uh, in the flow diagram without a, without a 3D model. Uh, I don't have any quantities or anything here, so this is just the principle of uh, planning uh, using the uh, pencil tool up here to plan as we did in, um, in lesson 11, and then the follow-up. Um, well, last time we left it like this, and uh, we, we changed to the, uh, the, the this view here. We should really go back to the control view, or, or rather the planning view, and uh, that's what I've clicked here, uh, because uh, I haven't actually explained how we uh, put in a Danish calendar. So to put in a Danish calendar, if we go into project and edit calendars, you can uh, see right now we are in the Finnish calendar. And we choose a Danish calendar here and load that up. And uh, perhaps we can put in a couple of uh, free days here. Uh, you can see the, the, the normal Danish uh, uh, holidays like... Uh, Easter and uh, Christmas Eve and so on. So if you want to add a, a new uh, holiday, uh, we can write a holiday here and we can choose uh, from our uh, calendar here a couple of days. Let's say, take the uh, 9th and 10th. Uh, and that's, this is a one-off uh, occasion, so we're not going to choose every year and click OK. And here we can see uh, the um, the date for that holiday, and we can just while we're here put in the uh, number of hours per day, and the work time starts at, uh, at seven o'clock in the morning, which is quite normal. Uh, click OK, and you can see the calendar. Uh, the couple of uh, holiday uh, free days are there, and we can toggle this on and off if we wish. And uh, this. Uh, horizontal line here indicates that not, no work has been done uh, in this location during these two days. Uh, then we can, uh, let's say now that we've we've done that. Uh, uh, I haven't put any resources on this, uh, this activity. Uh, this is just to show the planning and the follow-up. Uh, but the, the activities are linked, as you can see here from the uh, uh, network diagram. Uh, and the next stage would be to go into the follow-up. If we're satisfied with our, uh, with our planning, we can change from planning mode into control mode. And when we do that, uh, we are ready to uh, schedule the actual events that are happen on site. And this is how we do it. Uh, we can go in and we can uh, click on here uh, in the control view and schedule task control chart. And here you can see the, 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 the control chart. And uh, it consists of the locations up here with the floors, from the foundations up to the second floor. And over here, we got the activities. Uh, the black uh, um, rectangles indicate that no work is being done uh, in these positions. It's only in the foundations, uh, the tasks and foundations that happens at the foundation level. Uh, although here there are uh, the activities of mounting walls from the ground floor up to the second floor, but nothing in the um, foundation level. So by, to follow up, we just simply click on here and we uh, indicate a start date. And for example, here we go uh, to April and we can say, well, we started on the 7th of April. Uh, we started a little late. Let's say we started at uh, 9 o'clock. And we finished uh, on, let's say, the, um, the 11th at 12 o'clock. Just to see what it looks like. Click there, click OK. And we get a green. Green indicates a completed task. White is a task not yet started. Uh, and this is a task uh, that's in progress. We're running late. This is a, start, a task that has not yet started uh, and running late, etc., etc. So if you go into the flowchart now, we can see uh, that we have here an indication of the actuals of this task. It's actually finished earlier than planned. And um, if we continue, uh, we can go in. 
and take the next task, which is this one here. Well, we can say, well, it started on, uh, let's say, the 12th of uh, April, where the element truck, no, not the 12th, it'll have to be the 14th, because the 12th is a, is a Saturday, uh, the 14th of April, and the element truck came in the morning, and as of, if we're going to click into advanced, we can add an actual here for progress, as of the 15th, uh, let's choose the 15th here of uh, April, uh, as of the 15th, only 75% was finished. So that's probably running late. So let's click on there and let's have a look at that and see if it's running late. It's a uh, blue color. The task is in progress. Click on there. And you can see now that this project is actually, this is actually running late. Because um, when I click on the, on this uh, here showing the progress or the, um, the, pro uh, the uh, forecast, you can see the forecast is it's going to be quite late finishing up. Uh, well, it's actually uh, not that bad because uh, we were early anyway starting up. So in that sense, it's, it's on time. But uh, you can see the forecast here by clicking on here. This gives a, a forecast line that comes in here. And uh, that tells you how to follow up uh, this uh, very simple schedule uh, by changing from the planning mode to the control mode, and that ends this video.